Hello and welcome to ATN World News. I'm Leah and it's great to be with you, the audience around the world. Today I'm so happy to have one of our ATN teammates, Doug Moses, with us. Doug is president of Christ Games. There's a whole new world out there of things being done through games. With that, I'm going to say hello, Doug. Hello, Leah. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm hanging in there. You know, um, Doug and I worked on a game ourselves together. I had a vision in my mind of a game called Unwind. We call it Unwind Game because there's one game out there that's unwind that's like psychedelic colors. That isn't yeah. us. <laughs> but, but there's one, the Unwind Game. Just put unwindgame.com and you can go play for free. Mm -hmm. And uh, I helped design some power ups that are free. Uh, it's designed to help. I made a word game where uh, you, if your elderly parents uh, or uh, relatives uh, want to keep their mind sharp, they can play. It's good for kids. There's no triggering in it uh, to make them hyper. It's a very good game. I mean, you can pick out a whole lot of ambient sounds in the background. It's a uh, um, it's pretty cool. I, I really officially hurt myself trying to look online forever for unsourced things or things that were mm -hmm. free to the public. And then Doug uh, coded it uh, an amazing amount of pages, but it's a good project. Check it out. So I put my plug in, okay, for, for, for my game. But, you know, there's a whole new world out there. They're having game meetups. Uh, they're having conventions. I mean, this is... A, very exciting territory, and I'm going to let Doug tell you more about that. Go ahead and speak to our audience, Doug. Sure. Thank you for having me uh, today. So, uh, yeah, so uh, the Christian gaming community is starting to uh, take off. Uh, you've probably seen, like, in the uh, the other media uh, stuff where, you know, movies and things like that are starting to really take mainstream. But now we're starting to get into the, the part where uh, Christian games are now becoming uh, similar to that, uh, where uh, we're starting to have a following of lots of people uh, and lots of, uh, you know, things that are out there. So uh, my company, uh, Christ Games, was starting a couple of years ago, I, I kind of thought about it for a little bit and said, uh, you know, uh, you know, I want to do some ministry to the out to the world out there, and and how can I use my talents uh, in that sense? Uh, to uh, you know, help uh, with uh, you know the, the spread the new good news and all that good stuff uh, for Christians and and I uh, thought about it for a little bit and said, well, I'm a I'm a nerd, I'm a I'm a computer guy, and uh, I've uh, played games a lot and I like that kind of stuff. And I said, well, let me just make a kind of a company out of that. And we we started up uh, Christ Games several years ago, uh, and it's been pretty fun uh, lately. Uh, so uh, we we're starting to grow ourselves as big uh, as we go along, and uh, meeting a lot of people. Uh, and it's been pretty, uh, you know, exciting uh, stuff. So uh, we're on our third game now. Uh, like you said, your your game was one of those. Uh, so we're uh, we we uh, kind of cut our teeth on one of that one uh, a little bit here. Uh, it would uh, help us uh, to uh, get a a browser based game out there on the market. And uh, that one was really good. So you're you're actually now officially a game designer. You can put that on your resume. <laughs> you know, so you can do that uh, because now you you actually uh, did the, the game here. So. I, I sat back and pretty much let you lead it, and you came up with all the the, uh, the stuff you wanted to put into it, and and all that kind of stuff. So that's really the game design, and then I coded it behind the scenes. So uh, it was a very fun game to make, and uh, we, we did it in a pretty short amount of time. I think like six months or less or whatever for for game uh, you know creations. That's pretty quick. Uh, and we got it out there, and uh, seems to be having a uh, you know pretty good uh, audience and, and some fun. So uh, I'm glad to it's out there, and uh, and it's now you know part of uh, the portfolio that we can sh share to people and, and stuff. So um, we have a couple more games. We just kind of throw them out there just so you can uh, take a look at them if you want to download them. There's a, a game called Rodeo Judge. I made that with a uh, a uh, actually with a bull rider, uh, champion bull rider. <laughs> His name's Scott Mendez. Uh, I met him um, in the Christian Media Association. Uh, at a, at a, a meetup there, uh, with uh, which was founded by Tim Shields. Uh, he's uh, the, the founder of that uh, organization, and we kind of got together and uh, said, "Well, let's create a, a game for." He was had a, he, Scott was really wanting to make a game uh, about um, a card game that he had a vision of years ago when he was doing rodeo. Uh, so we created it, uh, put it out there. It's on mobile. It's called Rodeo Judge. Uh, you can go to rodeojudge.com and download that game, uh, and it's doing very well. And uh, actually. 
actually in China and and uh, Brazil uh, of all things. So who who have thought that a rodeo judge a rodeo game uh, would be doing in those different uh, areas? I uh, understand Brazil because Brazil is a big rodeo fan, but China on the iPhone they it's uh, it's downloaded the most over people in the United States. So uh, that to me is a little amazing, but. Anyway, so it's doing good, uh, and uh, that's, uh, again, Scott Mendes was the kind of the game designer on that one. Uh, and then you had yours for, for uh, Unwind, so we're doing that one. And now the, the third one we're doing uh, is a, another game that uh, a lady came to me. Uh, her name is Erica, uh, uh, Erica Bertram, and she came to me. She has a, uh, she's a children's books writer, so she uh, writes uh, these children's books, uh, very uh, Christian-based. And, uh, you know, they're pretty small little books, but they're kind of picture books and they have some really good stories on there so she's got five of them out right now and she wanted to have a video game written for that so I went ahead and said yeah we'll go ahead and do that one uh, we'll put it to the community and see if we can get that uh, you know, built out so kind of how we work in Christ games is uh, we're a we're not really a, a company in the sense of you know uh, that there's a a uh, org, struct, org structure of you know corporate uh, CEO and all that kind of stuff. We're, we're a community uh, in, in the sense that we're a bunch of friends that get together uh, and we uh, kind of uh, help each other out in different game uh, community uh, type uh, projects and uh, you know build stuff out there. So uh, there's probably I guess on this uh, Spirit Heroes, I've had about 30 people or so, somewhere around that range. That have uh, had interest in it and had uh, partaken little pieces here and there, made a, a piece of it, uh, you know, a voiceover or uh, you know, a graphic stuff. Uh, so just kind of name some of the names on this one. Just kind of throw it out there because I want to do some shout outs for them since they are uh, uh, great. And uh, had uh, the, the voiceover lady that's really doing really good stuff for me. Uh, she's uh, her name's Lacey Morgan. She's uh, the lead on the voiceover, and I learned a lot on with, with her on the, on that game because uh, voiceovers, uh, if you if you don't do them good, it doesn't sound very good. <laughs> uh, like if I tried to do voiceovers myself, it would be really, really bad. So, uh, so she's a professional. She's uh, done a lot of good work on it. She's uh, actually done three different characters and a robot and all some other stuff in the game. So she's leading the team, does the scripts and all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's nice to have her as a professional on there. A couple other uh, voiceover people have uh, has partaken in it. Uh, I don't want to go through a whole list here. It's about 30 people, <laughs> but uh, uh, some of the names in there. Uh, the, the one that was interesting to me was there's a local guy here. Uh, his name's Patrick uh, Aquilon, and he, uh, his, uh, he we, we gave him the part of God because uh, he had the really deep voice and, you know, that really booming. And so he, it was really interesting to hear that. And uh, it kind of gives you chills up the back of your spine <laughs> when he has a conversation with that. Uh, but uh, anyway, so you know, we got another lady just just now recently uh, in the last couple of weeks. Uh, uh, Tamara uh, Eastridge, uh, she's very professional too, and she's uh, wanted to do the the voice of uh, Hope. Hope is a, a little girl that has cancer, and uh, it kind of touched her heart on that. Uh, and so uh, it's a good story, uh, you know, in the books. That, uh, for a girl to uh, overcome cancer and and uh, all the uh, trials and stuff that she goes through there, so uh, it's uh, these books are really heartwarming uh, books, and uh, they've done a lot of good stuff. So, uh, just a couple more people to not shout out on this one. Uh, had a lady; her name was uh, Lindy Damon. Uh, she's the one that did the, so some of the graphics uh, pipeline and stuff in there, and she's from the Netherlands. Uh, so, it's this is a global uh, game that we've had. Um, uh, we're from the United States, myself, and uh, she's in the Netherlands. And um, she created the whole uh, 3D, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, models and and, uh, and all the different uh, documentation for uh, the uh, the character model. So she's doing that, and she's had a couple of uh, people help her along the way as well. Uh, and uh, of course, we had another person that kind of helped us at least start kick kickstart stuff. Uh, this guy named Chad La uh, Laforce. Uh, his he's a uh, uh, a AAA game maker. Uh, he uh, helped us do a little PM, PM in uh, project management type stuff at the beginning and uh, kick it off and, and, and give us the right direction to go on that game. So uh, it's still in progress. Uh, progress. Uh, this whole game is uh, Spirit Heroes. Uh, so uh, if anybody wants to join us, you know, just send me an email at uh, doug at christgames.org and I'll get you hooked up. Uh, but we need some more graphics artists uh, to help us out and uh, you know, a few uh, good uh, level designers. We're doing an uh, engine called Unreal uh, so 4.0. Uh, so if anybody has that stuff, we're, we can uh, help us out here. So the whole, whole community uh, on all these games, uh, uh, Unwind, uh, Rodeo Judge, and uh, Spirit Heroes, have all been uh, free. We've, we've not made any profit off them. We're not making any money off of uh, the people. 
but we're not charging anybody any money. So we're we're doing this all for for free for you know the Christian community uh, to get these games out there and to you know to basically spread the word. Uh, so that's the, there's no uh, advertisements in them in the middle of them that you see popping up and, and that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, that should be uh, you know pretty simple and uh, it's all kid friendly uh, and things. So, uh, but uh, anyway, so that's that's the games. Uh, and then you talk about the meetups. Uh, we do have in Christian uh, community. We have uh, a lot of meetups now that are starting to happen out there. Uh, the big meeting meetup meetup that we have every year is in Portland, Oregon, uh, and it's uh, a the Christian Game uh, Developers Conference. Uh, so the conference is a three day. Uh, intense uh, meeting that we all meet together. Uh, a lot of the Christian gamers, uh, the uh, the developers, the artists, and all that kind of stuff, they get together and they meet to go over a lot of stuff. And it's uh, three days of action-packed uh, keynote speakers and, uh, you know, basically a, a regular conference like you see of all the different kinds, like the, the Game Divine uh, conference that just came recently here a couple of weeks ago. It's kind of similar to that, uh, but it's all Christian-based uh, games. Uh, and we've had some pretty big names uh, attend those, uh, those meetings there. So we've had uh, you know, people like um, Amy and uh, Ryan uh, Green, which are for uh, the uh, that Dragon Cancer. They were there uh, ha- helping out, and it was kind of interesting. I, 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 when I go to the Christian Game Developer Conference, uh, I went there last year, and I helped volunteer uh, for some of the AV work. So I got to help uh, uh, Amy and uh, and Ryan uh, uh, to. Uh, you know, set up their video and all that kind of stuff. So I was like, okay, I get to, these are some celebrities here. I'm getting to help them uh, do a mic check and all that kind of stuff. It was kind of interesting. Um, and then I, I got to do a little speech myself uh, to get introduce, uh, you know, some uh, open source gaming and uh, and some things like that. So I got to do a, oh, not so much a keynote speech, but a, a couple of, Smaller speech, uh, I got speech there as well uh, during the expos, and uh, be able to introduce the the Spirit Heroes game and and all the other games. Uh, we had the unwind game on a table; uh, people could play it, uh, and and rodeo judge, and and I think so. It was kind of neat to see uh, kids and, and even adults come by and see all these games and play them and and comment on them and and things like that. So that's uh, interesting. There we'll have another meeting. Uh, it's actually coming up, and uh, let me see what the date is here. If I don't remember, I don't get it right. Uh, it's going to be coming up to July 19th uh, and that's on the, the to Saturday the July the, the 21st um, and it's going to be in Portland Oregon that's where we have it all the time in this case it's at the uh, Mult, uh, Noma uh, University in Portland Oregon and it's a Christian university there so we kind of take over that whole university for three days and uh, you know have the Christian games the developer conference there and uh, so I uh, go to Christian Game Developer Conference Org, uh, and the, the site is uh, cgdc.org is the actual URL. If you want to go there, sign up. Uh, it's uh, uh, it's different prices for different things you want to see. If you want to do this expos, if you want to do the whole thing. So similar to all the other expos uh, that you see are the uh, uh, conferences. They have different price tiers, and uh, they even have uh, accommodations there. I believe last year it was like twenty-five dollars if you want to stay in the dorms. <laughs> so it's pretty cheap, uh, and that was pretty fun. Uh, you know, you get, you get to hang out with people, uh, Christian folks, and and uh, kind of be like a kid again. Uh, back in my old uh, Christian day, you know, uh, days when I was a a kid in uh, college and stuff. So and no, no beer parties or anything like that. Nothing that kind of have. <laughs> uh, it was still pretty fun. So. Uh, but that's that's all a lot of fun. So I'll be there in in uh, uh, this year uh, it, uh, as well. We're gonna have our uh, probably a booth there with Christ Games, uh, all the stuff that we're doing uh, and such. Uh, and the, the meetups we have, uh, we uh, the person that started all these meetups, uh, his name's Charlie Mock. Uh, he's uh, I call him kind of the, the Apostle Paul because uh, he he kind of started walking, you know, going around the country and setting up these little uh, meetups, kind of like uh, Paul did when he did uh, Apostle Paul did for uh, the uh, the churches around. And uh, in the various places in Europe, and he's kind of doing the same thing. He's, he went to different places, kind of got uh, us local people to get together, and we, now we have about uh, fifteen or so, ten or fifteen of these uh, groups all around the country. So now he have all these little mini churches, I guess you can call uh, groups, and uh, that we meet up and stuff. So I've kind of helped uh, with the the Dallas local ones since uh, uh, it's here uh, close to me uh, where I, I live. And so I kind of help uh, organize that uh, on a lot of things. So I've hosted a couple of them. Uh, we've had uh, several people, other people host them uh, over the uh, the, the uh, 
uh, last few, uh, about a year and a half, I think we've been doing this now. Uh, so just kind of throw a couple of names out there for the folks that are, that are hosting these things. So it kind of gives them a little bit of, of a shout out. Uh, we've had, uh, the, the the biggest person that's actually you know, before I say that, but the biggest person that's, that has come uh, that uh, I would say that's come every year, uh, every of the every every one of these uh, meetups is uh, his name is Professor Tanner, and he's at the Abilene Christian University. He usually brings uh, anywhere between five to fifteen people uh, at these meetups. So uh, he drives uh, three hours uh, one way to get here, uh, and he so it kind of shows that he's really committed to this this meetups and helping the uh, Christian community grow. Uh, so we do appreciate him uh, attending these things uh, and it helps our our meetups uh, have success and stuff so we have uh, after that we have a you know handful of a uh, dozen or more people that regularly attend uh, the meetings and some of those people are other uh, CEOs and CFOs of companies uh, so it's not all about just the big, uh, you know, the old folks. Uh, there's kids that showed up to these things as well. Uh, but uh, it's a lot of uh, folks that come, like myself, uh, go in there to be, uh, you know, to socialize and mingle with other people uh, that are uh, wanting to talk about their projects and, and see what other people are doing in the Christian community and things. So it's usually like a three-hour meeting, and uh, we have pizza and all that good stuff. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Uh, so uh, one person uh, just comes out there, Brian Jeffries. He's uh, hosted it twice. Uh, he's uh, this, this CFO of uh, non Perel Institute, so he's another college uh, here in Plano, Texas. He's hosted it a few times, uh, and uh, he his school uh, teaches uh, autism, uh, also the kids with autism, to make video games, and that's kind of a unique twist. You wouldn't, wouldn't think, uh, you know, that uh, that's a kind of a a, a, a combination that's, that fits. But it, autism folks uh, are very very smart, uh, and it's uh, it, this helps them get out of their shell. Uh, and he's uh, got a whole uh, you know university now have built out. Uh, I think uh, several a handful of uh, uh, campuses around the in the, the Texas area, uh, and he's growing that whole uh, uh, you know business as well. The, uh, the universities to, for autism, so that's very exciting. Helping people that are ha that have autism and at the same time you know grow in the Christian community for your video games. So it's a he's got several uh, pretty big uh, titles as well that he's already put out. Uh, a couple other ones that, are, that show up regularly, uh, Tony Fouts and uh, Jeff Dotson of Planet 316. They're down here in Weather in uh, Waxahachie, which is not too far from Dallas-Fort Worth. Uh, and we've uh, met at their studio uh, once before, uh, or maybe twice, I can't remember. Uh, but uh, they've hosted it a few times. And uh, they have a lot of uh, really good augmented reality uh, type of games. So uh, kind of the mobile platform uh, more than, than uh, PCs. But they do have a lot of games, uh, I, I, guess, I would say at least a half a dozen or more that are out there commercially, uh, you know, that you can download and and buy uh, for various uh, you know age ranges and stuff, and they're all Christian based uh, Bibles and things like that. Uh, another one, Hector Silva. He's a he's kind of interesting guy. He's very uh, very quiet when he comes to our meetings, but he's uh, he's actually uh, in the local Dallas Fort Worth area, and he uh, created a game called Area Fifty One on the Atari in nineteen ninety two. So him and a, and three other people uh, created that game, and then it's interesting to see uh, him because he he brings a lot of. Uh, really interesting comments about how they used to do it in the old school and versus now that the tools today because the tools we have today are not what he uh, used to have to do uh, these games with so uh, he's he, he knows the stuff inside and out and it's very good to have his uh, him there on those meetings and then and, and his per, you know partici participation on it and uh, just a couple of things so, so we also have uh, SMU uh, is right here in uh, the what they call the Guild Hall. It's here in uh, Dallas Fort Worth area as well. It's in Plano, and uh, it's actually right close to the Don Perel Institute. And we have a couple of their students that show up uh, regularly on uh, the meetups. And and if you if you don't know uh, the Guild Hall, they're the number one game design company or the game design uh, university uh, graduate university uh, degree that you can get. And basically in the world, so uh, they are very high level, uh, you know, very smart people there, <laughs> and the people that come to these meetings are uh, very talented. I see some of the art they get in there, and I was like, wow, you guys are really, really good here, so uh, it's good to see those people uh, show up to the game meets uh, as well. And then uh, just two other ones just kind of out there before I throw all these names out here. Uh, we had one time, uh, last meeting, we had uh, Phil Conrad, he, uh, he was from the Portland, Oregon, he actually flew down uh, to meet with us in, in Dallas uh, with the last meetup and he gave us some uh, good insights on 
some of the things he's doing and some of the games uh, that uh, are out there. And, and he uh, he uh, owns a company called Kid Soft Kidware Software, and it's a, a bunch of uh, books and things on how to program games or how to program in different languages and things like that so he's uh, he's been around forever like me 30 plus years uh, in the gaming uh, industry and in the in the computer industry so he's uh, he's always good to have as there so he actually uh, uh, took time and, and flew down last uh, last meeting uh, so we're trying to grow this uh, this Dallas one nuts uh, uh, to be a little bit bigger and when we have another uh, we had a special guest last time as well his name is uh, Amon uh, Josa, uh, and he is in Germany. And so it's interesting about him, he he went he was uh, at the Christian Game uh, Developer Conference last year. I, I met him and along with a couple other people, uh, and I got some hookups there. And uh, and it basically, long story short, is he's building a game in Germany uh, based on you know some uh, uh, AAA uh, uh, folks there that are really building uh, wanting to build this really uh, interesting game of the life of Christ and in 3D and with virtual reality and all that kind of stuff. And uh, he's got some backers and uh, Lutheran Church there in Germany is, is helping him out. So he's got uh, some funding and all that kind of stuff. So it's uh, the stuff is growing. It's, uh, to me, it's just interesting to go see all these different people uh, from the different folks around the, the world and the country and and to see that uh, the Christian game community is growing and we're starting to all get together and kind of hang out with each other, uh, starting to compare notes and and you know, build a community uh, out there. So uh, that's one of the things Christ Games is trying to do to help out, to, to help be somewhat a little bit of the middleman in there. To uh, you know, the original idea when I created Christ Games, I, I wanted it to to uh, you know be a place to um, teach you how to build games, and that's that was great. And we kind of started doing some uh, some demos and tutorials and things like that. But that was kind of a narrow focus, and now we're we're kind of helping build games and you know uh, facilitate community outreach and all that kind of stuff. So um, anyway, so that's that's me in a nutshell, uh, in a in a quick speech, and uh, what we're doing in Christ Games and uh, and, and the community around the world uh, that's in the Christian community for gaming. So, do you have any questions or anything, Leah? Or uh, any comments you would like to make? Or? Well, I'd like to say that that was Doug. He was giving you a full news report. And he was giving all the gamers quite an update on everything that's going on new in the gaming world, the meetings, the people, what they're doing. That was a good full gamer report that I know that the gamers will really appreciate and really like. And uh, my opinion is, is that today a game is the new gospel track. You know, mm -hmm. you can uh, give the gospel in a game like Doug does and like we tried to do with uh, Unwind Game, and uh, but not where uh, it would be uncomfortable to a non-believer, but it would be enough to witness, uh, just to strike that perfect balance. But it's, it, is a, it's, it is a new gospel track. It is a, a way to engage uh, with society the way it mm -hmm. is today, but not, you know, in the world, not of it, so to say. And... Um, um, I just think that Doug is doing a great job here. And, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he he works a regular job, and then he does this. And and it's like uh, I was working ATM World News, and then I did this with the game. Mm -hmm. And it's exhausting <laughs> <laughs> doing the uh, game. I mean, it's, I mean, the detail is, is mind-boggling. So I have a lot of respect for game developers because – it's sometimes mind-numbing work, but you're excited by the results, and so many people get to enjoy your hard labor with it, you know. So mm -hmm. I do consider it a, a labor of love. And um, I'm going to uh, say that uh, I'm sure Doug will be back with us to give us new reports for the gamers out there, all the news, the meetings. I think the meetups are a neat thing going on, you know, in, in the Christian game world. Uh, because it can be locally, it can be city to city, church to church. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I'm sure he'll be back to give us new updates. And I do want to say a very big, big, big thank you, uh, Doug, for taking your time out uh, to come here and uh, give us all this wonderful information. Thank you, Doug. 
Well, thank you for having me. And uh, you know, we're like I said, we're growing. Uh, one of these days, we'll have uh, you know thousands of people out there that's making like the movies, and it's you know, you'll be no one Christian uh, gaming as uh, an actual thing. It's not just a novelty thing. So that's the uh, kind of the goal. So we're, we're getting there. <laughs> um, absolutely. And until next time, I'm Leah, reminding you that God loves you. Thank you.